Look at your face, I'm a disgrace Big booty and I give it a shake Look at your face, it is a place I'm gonna hit you and give you a raise uh, What's up homies? How we diddly doodling on this fine Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday evening WWE, I love watching wrestling When I was younger I used to watch it hella I used to watch it hella bro I used to love that shit But ever since um, Logan Paul's become a part of it I kind of just lost all interest But Vince Mac McCahon Mac ma Mac 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 Vince McMahon quits after sex trafficking lawsuit. Now, this is honestly... It's not a surprise! Mind-boggling. Now, I'll be honest with you. I like wrestling, but I don't keep up with the, uh, you know, the politics of it. This man's been in it since I can remember. I mostly know him these days for that meme, you know, where he's like, what was it like back in 2006 before Jesus Christ was found out to be unreal? It's like, <laughs> don't, don't mention it. No, no, don't bring it up. But very shocking news and, well, in terms of actual celebrity paedophile rings, etc. I don't think it is that shocking anymore. More celebrities, more sex trafficking allegations. From a former employee, Janelle Grant, a lady who used to work with the wrestling community or within the wrestling WWE, whatever, has accused uh, Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon has accused McMahon of basically sex trafficking, paying settlement money in order to keep her quiet, basically. So she's basically come out and said she was paled, I think. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, the WD boys are now investigation of alleged $3 million settlement between McMahon and an ex-employee who he had co a consensual affair with, apparently. However, usually when someone gives you 3 million quid and tells you to not say anything, it's probably not the most consensual act, is it? Miss hmm? Grant called the WD Special Committee investigator sham, blah, 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 McMahon, McMahon, McMahon. 180 countries and 30 languages. I didn't realise wrestling was that big. God damn, God damn, God damn. But I just wanted to, uh, on his Wikipedia, thanks to everyone who does that, it's already been uploaded. So they began to investigate basically settlement over an alleged affair with an employee in April 2022. So that, that was last year. By October 2022, the WWE had enclosed 19.6 million unrecorded payments McMahon made to settle sexual misconduct claims between 2006. This absolute scumbag has spent nearly 20 million dollars in unrecorded payments for settling sexual misconduct claims and he's got away with it. Holy shit. That's insane. 20 million. Imagine how many people that is. Well, let's say this one one and was three. 20 divided by three is... 6.33333. Wrong. 6.666, I meant. That's crazy. So he's at least had six affairs, or uh, not affairs, six sexual misconduct claims against him. Imagine when you get to number four, what would you be like? Just, oh, just, just send the money. I've already got it loaded up in the safe. Just send her the cash. What an absolute fucking scumbag he twat. He was accused of sexual harassment by a worker at a tanning bar. What an absolute softy. Imagine going to a tanning bar. Jesus. At first, the charge appears to be discredited because Mr. Moore was in Miami. Uh, it was soon clarified that the legend incident was reported to police on the day of the rumble but actually took place the day before but this dude's a bit of a scumbag in tw january to lawsuits filed by jenna and oh this is who we just covered she was subjected to extreme cruelty and degradation by mcmahon he defected upon the he could pay a three million 2022 in return for a non-disclosure agreement but stopped paying after one million paid following an so he doesn't even finish the deal what an absolute fucking scumbag he was even a steroid supplier what up boys it's vince you want to get big and jack Man, buy these words. Look at me. I'm fucking huge. My arms are the size of the fucking mountain tops. Ah! <laughs> Bro, this boy's been in everything. He was literally like a celebrity status. It's kind of crazy how this guy's like made his money. But yeah, clearly McMahon is not really a man who should be in the limelight. He should probably, I don't know, my suggestion would be uh, put him behind jail. That's outrageous! But yeah, on to more important things. Who's going to replace him as the CEO? Who fucking cares, bro? Can you believe McMahon? He's basically been doing this for years. A bit like Jeffrey Epstein, it's interesting, isn't it? Done all that. I mean, look at his face. Jesus Christ. Christ! He needs to get off the fucking tanning beds and stop injecting his cheeks with shite. I mean, just imagine if this guy came onto you. I think I'd probably just, like, flick his ear, like, break his neck. This guy's in charge of wrestling. Ah, ah, ah. Like all great content, let's see what this says.
Yeah, that's the only thing I have against Thingy. So he, uh, Slim Jim's coming in because he's uh, McMahon has uh, basically said he's had enough. Vince, fucking Vince, pathetic excuse of a human being. Can you believe it? That's the only thing I don't like as well. I used to love it when I was a kid, but when I found out it was fake, it was also a bit like uh, a bit like Top Gear. I didn't quite enjoy it. I wonder if Vince has ever gone to Jeffrey's Island. Probably. They all have. In conclusion, Vince McMahon is clearly a bad dude. Uh, he got away with it as well, which is kind of interesting. He's basically been going since 2006. You do the maths. That's nearly 20 years of sexual misconduct crimes. But WWE has something to answer for as well. How do you lose 20 million and not ask a few questions as to where the hell it's going? I don't know. If I lose, you know, 50p, I'm spending the whole day finding that shit. You know, it's it, it's not lost my sight for any reason. Someone's taken it or it's fallen down the sofa. I'm, I'm getting getting that so 20 million and no one's asking questions funny thing is uh, he's denied the allegations but how can you lose 20 million quid in basically settlement fees lawsuits replete with lies obscene made up instances that never occurred and vindictive distortion of the truth Vince said out of respect for the universe the extraordinary business board members share as partners can see and all employees I've decided to resign thank god you should be fucking in jail mate you should be shot you know like head in the head <laughs> so basically he's just left Miss Grant a former WWE employee accused me of honing him of trafficking to other men as a sexual pawn to entice world famous wrestling talent oh, it just gets worse and worse this truly is an absolute scumbag of a man someone please let me know in the comments what's your opinion on him before all this were you a big fan of him or have you always had a uh, you know alarm bells ringing in your head that sort of thing i mean he's nearly 80 bro he's gonna be dead soon like we need to proceed quickly and get this man you know i think when you get over 70 the punishment should be a bit different like maybe you should lose a finger or you know what i mean maybe have constant torture of like horrific sounds in the ears all day or night i don't know maybe i'm just talking smoking too much of that pipe i've been doing but hey ho here you blow it's time to go thank you so ho but yeah Vince Mahoa. Vince Maha. Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon is a scumbag and it's kind of weird how he's become such a I love that meme but I don't think I'm going to be able to look at it the same which is obviously not the problem with this story at all the obviously the problem is the video god I'm such a twat Jesus but you know what I mean now that meme is not going to be able to use it's like can people watch Kevin Spacey films anymore no you can't because you know he's a fucking paedophile